Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a twisted pier using your tape and level. No jig, no degree, no timber drill bits or anything else needed. Just your basic tape and level and show you where the plumb points are. Alright, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, twisted pier just using conventional tools. No jigs, no pieces of timber, aluminium, no degrees, all done by measurements. And your plumb points, four plumb points on every course you've got. Firstly, I'll take your diagonal measurement, corner to corner. That works at 620. That works at 620 as a diagonal. Now I've done that, I'll show you how I set out the pier. See there where I've set out the um, pier. 440 around here. I've done my diagonals there. I've got my centre point. I've used a screw and a pencil. I've pulled the pencil tight to the corner, put the screw with the string around it, and then I drew round. And that gives you a circle there. And each twist will marry up with the outside edge the perimeter there. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay so it's <clears throat> just dry bonded this twisted pier. It's actually 12 courses or 12 courses are measured. The first course is just like a plinth. Oh mate. Just like a yeah, plinth. The, the um, hey? Cheers right mate. There. Thanks mate. It's just like a plinth the uh, twisted pier sits on. So this has gone around 90 degrees, which is this front twist round all the way up to this side. If we've got another 12 courses, it will be 180 degrees. <clears throat> but for the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you the basics. So the front there is 440. Sorry, the front is 440, the width of the pier. Divide that by 12, you've got a 36 mil, 36.6 actually. And if you look here, just grab this tape measurement, it's from the bottom arras of that brick to the top arras of the other brick, which will be 36. Same with every one, all the way down, 36. Now, if you look at the arras of these bricks, it's not exactly precise science but that's where your measurement is okay the first course should become plumb with the 13th course because that means you've twisted the pier 12 times at 36 mil or 36 and a half mil um, that gives you 13 courses you can see that's plumb there and each plumb point, if you move the level up to the next course, that will be plumb to the next course you lay. On your pier, you can also plumb up with the arras of the brick and the circle you drew out earlier. And that comes up plumb. So each Harris should be plumb line to the original circle that you did. And you took that measurement, if you remember, from the diameter with your pier, corner to corner. Okay, so that is how you can build a twisted pier by using your standard level, smaller level for ranging. You've got your lines and pins I use for doing the circle. And tape and pencil. So you can build a twisted pier 
using conventional tools. No, no uh, screws or templates or jigs or anything at all. Okay, I'm actually going to build it with mortar now for the next video. So subscribe and uh, speak later. Full seats measurement goes in 36 mil. There's 13 courses there, which means 12 measurements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And each of those areas of that brick sums up with the perimeter that circle. Each one comes up perfectly. You only need to do one corner, you don't do every brick on every corner. As long as you've got your 10 mil perps, you range. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.